up, motherfuckers? We're back here in the Amazon rainforest. But today, I'm coming with the trip report about the time I tripped this Halloween on 900 milligrams. Why did I do that? Oh, I knew what I was doing. I wanted to have a creepy experience, but I definitely got what I wanted. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. And first off, I just gotta say in every video, don't don't try this shit. It's not sweet. It's, it's nothing to play with. It's not a toy. Delirium's no joke. Like, seriously, fuck yourself up. Getting a lot of trouble. Anything, really. But, yeah. It was this last Halloween. You know, of course, random hair up my ass. Let's go get some fucking Benadryl, because cause why not? I'm just, stupid, but, so, I go take him, I don't remember too much of the, I don't know, come up, whatever the fuck, but here's what I do remember, so when it started kicking in, you know, all the, all the visual haze and shit, the normal stuff, and I wasn't too uh, impressed, so, I'm like, whatever. It's a dud trip, nothing new, that shit happens like nine times out of ten, it's fucking dud, don't even work. And shut the fuck up, you trucks. So, yeah, thought it was a dud. So I'm like, all right, we're gonna test this out. So I start staring off at the wall, and the way, what you have to do is just stare, don't blink, don't move your eyes, and just, you know what I mean? It starts to fuck up your vision a lot. I'm sitting here in my room, staring, and I, I seen this fucking car come out of my wall in a transparent gas fume, active camo texture, you know what I mean? Like, no color, but you can see it. It's like a ghostly, um, whatever the fuck. I don't know what you call it. But, you know, I see this car come out of my wall, and it's like, like the whole outline is just, and I'm like, whoa, it's my fucking come out like, like he was, that car was on some shit. Let me tell you, like that car, he wasn't lacking. I'm a, I don't know, he's out living life. But the motherfucker come bust through like the middle of my wall, about like three foot up, and I'm just like, that's pretty fucking rad. A fucking whole ass car come out my wall, like looked like it had fog lamps on, and it was like a older, shorter, like box type. Um, Lowrider kind of uh, I don't know But I thought that was fucking wicked Now We're gonna get to the night part Cause this is what I wanted to do And but Yeah I'm just gonna get into this So uh, I remember I planned on walking around In the middle of the night After midnight Why would you do that? Let me tell you. So, there's this one time I think I took like 900 milligrams also, and I wasn't tripping. I'm like, motherfucker, you know what? I'm going to get some motherfucking Delson. I don't play this shit. I took these drugs for a reason, and they don't work. As I'm walking up there in the middle of the night, I'm walking, I'm like, I'm not even fucked up. I'm not even fucked up as I'm seeing ghost outlines fucking walking past me, and I'm pretty sure some look like straight jackets. Like, you know what I mean? And I was like, what? But I, I didn't even really notice it at the time. Like, it took a few seconds to be like, oh, shit, I'm tripping. But I lied to myself. I ain't fucked up. I'm going to go get some more drugs. So anyway, I remember it was getting about that time to leave. And I think I was going to get a drink from the kitchen or something. And it was already, like, pitch black in the house. And as I was walking past this uh, open doorway... And this shit creeped me out because it's just like pitch black space. And especially with HPPD, all you see is like fucking bullshit everywhere. And it's like you can see energy in the room. I don't know what it is. But you guys, I'm passing. Sometimes I don't like the dark because I can just, you know, you get that bad feeling. So I'm walking. I'm like, fuck, I'm already having a bad... Um, bad feeling about it but anyway go walk down the hallway and as soon as I get to like the door opening I see this black figure just poof, fucking bum rush me 
And this motherfucker made me like, it's like, whoa, like, fuck that. You know, like, a lot of hallucinations, they're creepy, but you don't, you're just sitting there frozen. And it doesn't really, some people, for me, it doesn't really terrify you. But at this time, like, that shit is kind of terrifying. Like, motherfucking black figure just, poof, like, hopping out trying to, like, this shit gave me a mini heart attack. I'm like, like, fuck, man. And as I'm walking back, I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, oh, I don't, I don't want no beef, bro. It's like, I can't touch you or nothing. I'm good, bro. I don't know what the fuck. Nope. So, yeah, that happened. And then I balls up. I'm like, yeah. We going, uh. We're going outside at midnight after midnight. Pretty sure it's like one o'clock. So it wasn't Halloween. I lied, but I was tripping on Halloween, so that works. So I go to walk, feed my house, um, and I just get around the block. Like I'm walking for just one minute. I'm like looking for stuff, and not much. I'm walking. I get to the the park, and there's like a open fence to like a baseball field. I'm just walking, not paying attention. And I thought I seen like a bunny or something. And I'm like, what was that? Like I just glanced over real quick, not like staring, but I was just like checking. And when I did that, my fucking heart jumped. Like I almost shit my fucking pants for real. <clears throat> what I see, when I glanced over, I swear I seen this dude like walking behind me, black hood, like this. And it looked like he had a knife or a gun like this. And all hooded up, face down, like following me real quick. And usually hallucinations don't freak you out this much. But this shit, I was like, oh, that is not cool. Like, I don't know about this. Like, I don't know, bro. You guys have balls to keep going. And I did. So I'm like, Phew. like, that shit is fucking freaky. And, uh... I get, you know, like 20 more feet and I end up like turning around just to stare at stuff. And under this tree, I, I was seeing this like guy messing with the cooler and he's like looking at me. Like, it's like a blue white beer cooler or something you put beer in. And he's just looking at me and shit. And I'm like, is that real? And it took uh, like 10 seconds and I'm like, oh, that ain't real. That's a hallucination. But what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, it's freaky shit. Anyway, I get, like, another 30 more feet down there. And, and I wasn't feeling it. Like, the shit that I seen, dude running up on me, about to kill me. Nope. I was like, man, I don't know. First of all, it's probably ain't a good idea. Second of all, I ain't even feeling a walk. Because wherever I walk, I gotta walk back. And I do not feel like walking like that. I'm like, eh. I turn around, head back home, and I was like, fuck. And also, like, why that shit scared me so much? It's like, oh, like I'm walking around middle of, the night, middle of the night, all fucked up. I, I ain't got nothing, like, no self-defense on me. I'd have been fucked. Really killed me. So, um, yeah, I ended up turning back because I was like, fuck this shit. I wish I would have went, but I made the right decision because... I did not want to walk back. Luckily, I was only like 100 feet away from my house. But, so, as I'm walking back, I'm like, all right, you just gotta get it here and we're safe from this fucking spooky shit. Cause this type of shit, nah, like there's a line between like creepy shit that makes you like freeze up and be, like stare at it, a little intimidated. And then there's shit like this, a motherfucker's about to come kill you that makes you almost shit your pants. Like, that shit, I don't know, like, I don't play with that shit. I don't like that shit. Um, it's not fun. That shit actually scared the fucking shit out of me. That was probably the scariest hallucination I had. Because I was like, <laughs> like, that, that shit straight scared the fuck out of me. Bro. Anyway, as I'm walking back, I'm like, oh, we're almost there, bro. We're almost there, about to get home. So I'm walking back, and I get to, like, about the end of the fence, and, and I hear someone, or I hear, like, footsteps in the grass, like, like, not that loud, but they're, like, like, running up on me, and I'm, like, 
and it was nothing. And I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm only 50 feet away from my house, but I'm fucking running. Fuck this shit. And yeah, that's about it. I don't remember much. I probably sat there in my bed for a couple hours waiting for it to wear off, feeling like fucking shit. Fuck Dyson Hydrine, it's garbage. Man, that was a pretty wild trip. Like, I, I usually don't remember a lot of them, but this one I'll, I'll never forget. Like, that, the dude what, fucking following me, about to kill me, hood down, all blue, like dark clothes and shit. Looked like he had a knife in his hand. That was probably the scariest hallucination or shit I ever seen because that's something like I, I thought I was about to get fucking killed like I literally thought this dude was following me to fucking kill me like I don't play with that shit I'm I'm good now uh, there's like I said there's a line between like crazy shit that doesn't happen on a regular basis or ever really like and then there's shit that is just nope nope fuck that Fuck that, let me tell you. I don't know, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the day. I don't know. Hope you like the new. I don't know if it's new, but I just decided to do something new. It's nice outside. Fucking fuck the house. I need to get the fuck out of this, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope I don't have to re-record this because I never recorded that far away from my screen. But, yeah, I'm out this bitch. Thanks for watching. And, yeah, of course I got more coming. Fuck off. Stay tuned. Peace.